This is about junk foods. That is your guilt-free meal. That is your cheat meal of the day and therefore it might be destroying your entire fitness process but never understood that what it was doing to my health. Sugar is definitely not our friend whereas sugar acts like a drug. The more you have it, the more you want to have it. But of course, they cannot substitute the taste and love for biryani. Your eating should be absolutely mindful. Hello everyone. And welcome to another episode. Well, twelve uh, episodes are already done, and this particular episode is something very special. Just like we have our cheat meals in our diet, well, this is about junk foods. A lot of people ask me that you know, if you want to have a proper fitness journey, or if you are you know in your fitness routines, can you really consume junk foods? Well, this episode is just. for you all who have this particular question and as always i always tell you from my experiences that i have whether small whether big whatever kind of experiences i had if it was my bad i also share that with you because whatever happens happens with the blessings of almighty so let's go quickly into this particular episode that whether junk foods are okay or not in your fitness journey well what i believe is that junk foods can be consumed when you are having your fitness routines ongoing what i mean by that is definitely the first thing that you need to understand or i have taken it as a lesson is moderation is the key let me explain that to you well if you are moderately putting that into your routine like for example if you are not having a junk food every day then that is fine because if you are having a junk food say once in a week say that is your guilt free meal that is your cheat meal of the day but also of the week you cannot consume junk food every day and think that your fitness journey is going to be absolutely fine because the junk foods are not nutrient rich like the food that we generally tend to promote in our fitness industry like for example fibers proteins etc if junk foods contain proteins they will also have those bad fats in the food which are not good for your health and therefore it might be destroying your entire fitness process and your fitness attempts number 2 healthy substitutes well people who know me closely will definitely know that how much i also love ice creams i love chocolates and i love any any form of sweet and since i am a bengali myself sweet is definitely a part of bengal and definitely from childhood i also have had a lot of sweets but never understood that what it was doing to my health sugar is definitely not our friend well sometimes if you have sweet cravings what i tend to do when i understood the bad effects or the ill effects of having sugar i started having dates or raisins or some form of fruits like mango apple etc which do have the natural sugar within it therefore you are not consuming any form of artificial sugar which are processed although you are getting the sweetness through these naturally found products and of course you should remember that these also have certain nutritional value whereas sugar acts like a drug the more you have it the more you want to have it number 3 while telling you about the first and the second point i definitely mentioned about something that is nutrient density and efficiency in terms of nutrients well junk foods definitely you cannot expect them to be nutrient efficient right so what are the kind of junk foods we generally have we generally tend to have rolls burgers uh, momos so many ultra processed foods packaged foods sugar there are so many such types of items which we tend to have throughout the day but those need to be stopped because they are not nutrient rich you need to have nutrient rich foods 
and in certain videos I have also explained or if you have certain form of craving what are the possible snacking options that you could have like if I generally have craving for any form of big meal and I also am a big lover of biryanis well whenever I have such cravings of having a biryani or some big meal which is not on my cheat day I definitely go for some good snacking options and there are plenty snacking options which are healthy as well but of course they cannot substitute the taste and love for biryani but definitely you can try the alternative snacking options and you can find them in my previous videos. The fourth one and the most crucial one everyday exercising is very important balance out the junk food that you have even once in week because exercising is going to help you eradicate those extra amount of energy, those extra amount of junk that goes inside your body and also it has a very important role in creating your mindset in a very positive pattern so that you do not have excessive cravings towards such foods. Well, let me explain this to you. If you already know that having those junk foods are going to cause you another 5 hours of workout, well, maybe you will not tend to have those junk foods at the end of the week. Number 5 and the most crucial one of all the 4 that I have mentioned above. You should have junk foods sometimes to definitely get rid of that cravings. But you must remember that it does not mean that you have the license to have as much as junk foods that you want. Like for example, if you decide that one day I am going to have ice cream in a week or a bit of biryani in a week, it should be a bit. It should not be in a form that you have that you have 5 or 10 ice creams and a plate full of biryanis. Definitely, the day you are having it in the week or in the month, you should try to control your portions. Not only this, but the form of food that is excess to your calorie requirement of per day also becomes junk for your entire body and your entire system. What I mean by that is if you require a certain level of calories, say for example a person requires around 1500 to 2000 calories per day for their maintenance according to their BMR and the person is overeating and not controlling his or her portions, then the person is equally consuming junk. Therefore, the excess food for the body is also junk. So these are the 5 simple points which I felt that might help you in understanding the difference in between having a cheat day or a bit of junk food in between fitness routines or a fitness journey or a fitness challenge and the difference in between having junk foods throughout your entire fitness routine. So yes, you can have your junk foods sometimes in your fitness routine but that should definitely be number one, moderated. Number two, you should find healthy substitutes. Number three, you should understand nutrient density and the nutrient efficiencies. Number four, you should definitely have a very good exercise routine in balancing these. Number five, your eating should be absolutely mindful and you should not be over consuming any form of food. Well, hopefully this particular video is going to be answering a lot of questions that I have received in the inbox about junk foods and having them in between the fitness journey and how to have them if you want to have them at all. And if this was helpful to you, please share this video with people for whom this might be relevant and might be helpful for them as well. And if you've come to our channel for the very first time, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel because there is a team who is working behind it and it is not only just me but there is a big team which is working behind it for creating the content and for providing the best possible experience from our side to you. Your views and your feedback is extremely important for us and therefore we would request you to give any possible feedback in our comment section and if you love our channel definitely do not forget to share our video and subscribe to our channel. Hopefully we meet very soon in another exciting episode and about more knowledge and more fitness and a bit more motivation. Thank you.